<clears throat> All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Tonight we're bringing you some live wrestling between the Culver Cavaliers here on Culver TV, brought to you by uh, RTC TV4. I'm Chris Stevens. Later, uh, I'll be handing the mics over to Mr. Mike Zayner and Mr. Chad Hollenball, and um, they will be doing the commentating tonight as this is more of their wheelhouse than mine. Um, however, uh, Culver versus Pioneer, it's a... Uh, HNAC matchup um, <clears throat> this particular year, and, it, and this is not uncommon for uh, some smaller schools in wrestling, that when you have just a dual meet like this with two teams, sometimes one team has fewer wrestlers. Pioneer, um, a little thin this year, so depending on matchups, we might have uh, we might have anywhere from four to eight matches tonight. Uh, hopefully we'll bring you as much as we can. But uh, speaking of the HNAC, uh, this Saturday is the... Uh, Wrestling HNAC Conference uh, tournament, which is held at Bourbon uh, at Triton High School. So, full day of wrestling there on Saturday. If you want to head over to Triton and see some high quality, uh, high quality uh, high school wrestling there, uh, we're going to take a quick break here and hear from a couple of our sponsors, and then uh, we'll come back here. We got a few extra minutes, um, and then we are also honoring a couple of the uh, managers for senior night here for Culver. Uh, no senior wrestlers on the squad, but they are going to take a couple minutes. Won't take long, just to honor a couple of our uh, of our managers. So once again, you're watching uh, Culver TV on RTC TV4. Culver TV. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car, get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. Hi, I'm John Oliver, letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at John R. Nelson Gymnasium here. The clock's running down its final minute. Uh, as promised, Chad, Coach Chad Hollenball has joined me. He's going to be uh, he's going to be teaming up with Mr. Mike Zinger here in a few minutes after we uh, recognize a couple of our uh, wrestling managers. As I mentioned before, no senior wrestlers on the squad, so Mr. Bushman's got a young a young crew there, Mr. Hollenball. Yeah, no question. I looked at the lineup. A uh, little different. A few guys. Uh, Dropped off at uh, Christmas break, and uh, now we're down to 13. Still a good number, um, and these are all, I think, maybe three upperclassmen and nine nine freshmen, so definitely building for the future here. Absolutely. Looks like uh, Pioneer is a little bit thin We've got this year. Eight, eight kids, and it looks like uh, we'll have five contested matches and one exhibition tonight. Great. Clock's running down, so I'm assuming. I know they called for the parents here to get ready, so I see... Uh, yeah, manager the, Hannah Barth. Yeah, manager Hannah Barth is going to be recognized first. And I don't know if Miss Chloe Evans is here tonight or not to be uh, honored or recognized. I know she's put in a couple of years with Mr. Bushman. Exactly. 
But Mr. Zayner uh, pulling triple duty at a middle school girls parent meeting that he just got out of. Walked in a minute ago. Now he's running the senior night. We'll shake hands and kiss babies, and then he'll come up and <laughs> yeah. be our uh, play-by-play guy tonight. That's why uh, he he makes the big bucks, right? That's right. Man of many hats. What we'll probably do here is what we usually do in basketball, and just kind of let you listen to Mr. Lowry here through the uh, through the mics. Go. This is a HNAC competition, and if they want to see some uh, a whole day of uh, HNAC competition, Saturday is um, the HNAC tournament at Bourbon, right. Triton High School. I think believe that starts at 9 a.m. in the morning, and uh, all eight teams will be in action in tournament setting. And Coach Bushman did say that they agreed to have uh, some JV, kind of like a mini JV tournament exhibition thing there in right. the bedtime where they usually experience a downtime. Some downtime there. Right. Yeah. So that'll be cool for the younger kids. Right, right. They'll be able to feel that uh, energy mm -hmm. when a, of a conference uh, tournament. I'm not sure the exact order, whether we'll go uh, exhibition match, uh, National anthem and then uh, line up or line up right national anthem. We'll play it by ear here. And I do believe the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Zaner, might be making his way up to the mic now. Yep. I was thinking you might have to call the uh, figure four leg locks and the power bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to now hand the uh, mic over to Mr. Zayner, and he and Mr. Hollenball will will be the experts coming to you for the wrestling. Here's Mr. Zayner. Experts to stretch, but we'll give it our best shot. Looks like we're going to start out with an exhibition match tonight, then we'll have our varsity lineup. We have lineups. Yeah. This uh, exhibition match is going to be at 195. Um, ben Lee, our varsity 195, is actually wrestling up a weight class. They have two 220 pounders, and um, rather than uh, take a forfeit, we're just getting a JV mat time here. We're letting Ben uh, get some last uh, minute mat time before conference on Saturday. Pioneer also a member of the Hoosier North Athletic Conference right. as well. So Ben so takes a nice shot to the right leg. Nice single leg. See him step up on the outside. Get that yep. Pop the head out. Yep. Needs to get up. Does not want to get flat like that. Want to get those Gotta hips get up. hips up. Still holding on to that leg. Yep. Still the bigger Hopkins is trying to spin behind. Catches an arm. Looks like he's close to a takedown. So he's got Caught his face. Get that half in pretty good. Let's get that arm through. Yeah. Push the head. Ben's got the eyes. over a minute here to try to fight off his back. He is giving up some weight here. Hopkins gets the pin with about a minute five. Ben's a, a kid that's really come a long way. I mean, he's only a freshman, and right. as you know, wrestling 195, wrestling 220 as a freshman, right. that is that is tough. Okay, so now with that exhibition done, we will have our varsity lineup where uh, there will be several forfeits, but five contested matches here. Um, get a guest appearance from Mr. Barron tonight. Probably confused what's happening to the yeah. basketball floor at yeah, this point. Yeah. Yeah, former basketball coach. Owen Falk will receive a forfeit today. Trading with another forfeit. That 120 will be the actually where we start tonight, so. One thirty-eight will be our first contested match. Turn the mic over to Mr. Lowry real quick. At one forty-five, Cavalier Ethan Thomas, Pioneer forfeit. At one fifty-two, Cavalier Ashton McCarthy versus Panther Logan Smith. At one sixty, Pioneers Peyton Schnurple and a forfeit by the Cavaliers. At Coach. 170, double All right, we're back. Mr. Mr. Rob Bryant. So all the plates can go to Rochester. He's a Rochester resident. So, yeah. so someone had, have a, someone had to hire him. I did a call from Larry Doan today thinking he had this match. D or what's his? Uh, Larry D? Doan. I know. He oh, goes, oh, yeah. He's got a first initial, I think. Yeah. Hey, captain's meeting out there. Looks like Kevin Bailey and uh, the two pioneers. Maybe they're seniors. Right, our first we did senior night activities, and obviously you saw that the, we had no wrestlers, so that's a good sign. We got yep. a nice young group here, and I'm excited about these guys. I know Coach Bushman is as well. I think um, ten, 10 freshmen, two sophomores, and one junior uh, make up the 14-man roster. And these guys are fun to coach, talking to Coach Bushman and Coach yeah. Kling. They uh, they come to work every day and listen. They're coachable, um, you know, and they're just going to continue to get better. New singlets look good, too, thanks yeah. to the athletic department. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that new singlet uh, at 126 when Trenton Fritter walks out to receive his forfeit. They're the uh, two-piece yeah. sublimated. Uh, still like to see some old-school guys that like the, uh, the single piece. 
All right, so we start out here at 120. Landon Kuykendall gets the foot forfeit. Cavs go up six to nothing with that. You might have to keep score there. We get I will. Basketball a clock operator down there. So. 126. Trenton Fredder gets the forfeit. And 132. Ian Brown gets the forfeit. So that's 18 to zero uh, that the Cavs are spotted here to start the match. We'll be at 138. Jason Cadle, freshman, versus Derek Wireman, senior. Senior. Wireman's a common name. Yep. Uh, hand control. Some pressure forward a little bit. Circle instead of back up. You got a collar tie there. Wants to be heavy on that neck. Circle him to that elbow down, protecting Snip his legs. Yeah. Fight to the inside. Those elbows oh, hands inside. Yep. Elbows are getting team. a little wide. He's going to give up some legs. So he wants to keep those elbows down. Wants to sprawl here hard. Nice Wireman takes a look. Attempt, Go to leg. If he goes to leg here, he's got a chance to finish. Tuck Keep going. Head in the hole, head in the hole. Sprawl, sprawl. Wireman reshoots his hips nicely to get the takedown. Definitely see a little bit of strength there from that senior. Yeah. That senior versus freshman sometimes that you can tell. Just a two-point takedown, no back points. Hey, we're off the mat. 50 seconds in. See a good escape here. I see some speed from Wireman Mr. leads Kate. two to nothing. Cato will start in the down position here. This is called the referee's position. Wireman tries to pick an ankle, breaking him down. He wants to get him flat. Uh, watch TV. Three quarter Nelson. He's trying to stack his head under. Cato has seen that before, defends it nicely. Let's teach that a good middle school move to really get an easy pin there, real quick. If yeah. you want, want some points quick, that's tough to, uh, tough to get an experienced wrestler with. Jason's stepping up to the outside. That's what he wants to do. And he slide that out and go. Yeah, Wireman's kind of picked, kind of uh, got an ankle bite there. He's got his leg intertwined with Jason's inner leg. Makes it tough. But he, tough. He's got a good position. Yeah, he should be able to work that leg free and square He's up with him. He needs to go. He needs to go. Wireman really doesn't have much here. Jason could come up. Skip he does get the, let's call that a knife throw. It's been called many different things. Got a quick two point two count, leads four to nothing. Wireman's up four to nothing. Under 10 seconds here in the first period. Jason really wants to try to get an escape here at the end of the period. He's got a chicken wing with a tight waist. We get some more points here. Ooh. Did we get Probably two more? Yeah, I'll see. Yep. So at the end of one, it should be six to nothing, I think. Is that right? Or? Yeah, that's what I think I had to six nothing. He probably showed Trevor two twice and he put yeah. <laughs> I believe it is six to nothing. Pioneer chose down. Let's see what uh, how we ride on top here. Warren does a nice job popping right up. Jason does the same thing that was done to him. He kind of ties that ankle up. Makes it a little bit more difficult for the guy down to uh, stand really up. Really control with that tight waist and get that tight and put pressure on him. Wireman stands up, slides nice away. There for a got both have head headlocks. They square up. Wireman's got one scored. escape. 7-0. See a shot here. I want to see him. Oh, Ooh, little Jap Jap Wizard. Wizard. No, I don't see that so often. A takedown and some back points here. I'm sure Mean Gene Hollenball uh, <laughs> hit a few Jap Wizards back, back in the day. day. It's actually a Greco-Roman move that uh, sometimes is useful at the high school level. Saturday night ride there, get the uh, legs pulled in. Yeah. Jason's in a tough way that here. Is, that is not easy to get out of. He's doing a good job though. He, he is got scrambling. His, you got the legs on Five point move should be 12 to nothing. Let's go. Let's Scoreboard get an escape here. I think, yeah. I think you're right. It's 12 nothing. Hey, so nice sit the hip roll hip. through <laughs> tilt there. Those are that's a dangerous move. Wireman's going to try to get the pin here. Otherwise, it'll be a technical fall. There we go. Technical fall. Tech fall. So he wins by 15 points. Anytime you get a 15 point difference, they automatically stop the match. And um, 
it's only five points on the scoreboard. Score score score. I've always been opposed to that. I think you can beat a kid by 15 points. You should get the full six, <laughs> I agree. I do, but uh, a pin is worth six. A forfeit's worth six. A major decision, anything eight to 14, is worth four points on the scoreboard for the team score. And then a decision seven or below, as long as you win, one to seven. All right, so uh, Ethan Thomas got the forfeit. Um, that runs the team score now to 25, 24 points for the Cavs, five for Pioneer Panthers. We're at 152 here. Ashton McCarthy, another freshman, uh, versus Logan Smith. Gives up the double leg takedown. Logan Smith is a sophomore, sophomore for, wrestler. for Pioneer. Take him down, let him up, get him escapes, scores 2-1. Want to see him be aggressive. I know Coach Bushman really go ahead and try and hit some moves here. There's nothing to lose. Four to one now after that second takedown. Smith is uh, trying to tie up those wrists. Maybe look for a half Nelson there to get him rolled over. Again, the Cavs will be in action this Saturday. We've got the Hoosier North Athletic Conference at Triton. I believe it's a 10 a.m. start. 10 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, that's for the uh, – I said 9 a.m. earlier, so. I believe it's 10. Probably for those uh, weird uh, central time zone yeah, teams, got, give them time to come over. Got two or three teams in central time. Yeah. Hey. Optional start. Gives him another escape, makes it four to two for the uh, Pioneer Panthers. Take down, runs it six to two. Get those hips up. Look away. Runs a chicken wing and bar, runs it over, scoops the head. Tough. Hey, okay, another two point. Oh, Thump, game three. three. It should be nine to two. We're a match up on the scoreboard. Ashton is uh, one of these young freshmen. You can tell his body has changed. He's actually oh, yeah. got some definition in his upper body where he didn't have much earlier. Looking at him as an eighth grader, he might have grown eight inches over yeah. the summer, it seems like. He Fighting hard. Kid that works hard, though, comes, comes and practice, and really a pleasure to have in class. Yep, nice kid. Yep. Logan's got a tilt here, racking up some back points. Once he gives up that arm, two, near two. now 14 to two. Watch over, watch over. Ooh, he stacked him up. Stacked up. It's a tough one. Once you get in that position, it's tough to get out. Yeah. Now 24 to 12 at the halfway point. We move to 160 where the Cavs will forfeit. They're only forfeiting two. Um, actually, three weight classes. They'll forfeit two because of um, that. Yeah, two to, uh, on Saturday when they. Yeah. Now ben, ben will be wrestling. 170 is a double forfeit. Fernando, 182, correct? Yep. Kevin Bailey versus now. Nate Adams, 24 to 18. That'd be a nice matchup. Kevin's a, another freshman, yep. and he's another one of those body types that's changing right now, too. And He's probably lost 20 pounds, I bet, just this wrestling season. Definitely. Looks he's good. He's, again, another one of these freshmen that uh, all these guys wrestled in middle school. And yep. That's where it starts. And Kevin is a scrambler, though. He's yep. a fighter. He is. Gives up the takedown on a little upper body Work bulldog that move. Up. Get that hip up. Get a little cross face, trying to maybe cradle it up. Bundle series is what we call it. Yeah. Hips are key here. It. Nice job by Getting Kevin the defending up. that. And he wants to work that arm free. There we go. He needs to work that arm free. And now he can work up his outside leg. Okay. We're doing a sit out. That's nice. Now he needs to come up and square up. We'll swim that arm Brown through. doesn't have a whole lot. If he can work to his hips, there we go. Yeah, he's out. Just, just come up. up. Got a front headlock by Brown. Bay. All right, back up. Square. Now we should be able to peek out here yes. and get behind him, actually. Right behind. Get there we reversal. go. Get the reversal. Nice job. Nice work. Yeah. Well done. Way to stay in there. Two to two. Settle now he's hand. got his own bundle. Keep Maybe his a hips half. broke down. Keep those hips broke down. Ah, he switched tight waist. Watch the oh, fat man roll. Fat man roll. Coach Hot and Ball special. <laughs> 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 
Actually, it's probably more my special as a heavyweight. So. Yeah. Two that reversal. Get, I'd like to get another two Three here. Ten back. seconds left. Oh, get on top. Oh. Did not give the escape and takedown. That's probably a benefit to yeah. uh, probably help Kevin. Kevin in the long run. Seven to two for. Uh, it's a good fight, though. Like, for like um, what I'm seeing from Kevin. Nate Adams. Start the second period with, uh, I believe Bailey cho chose down. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see it the first. Yeah. I think he just chose down. Another pops his hips, got him popped up. Yeah. Should be able Shug to get another. On. That's tough. Reversal here. Tough position. Bailey, come out the back door, catch the head. Oh, he's got, got it. him pinned. He's got it. Gets it heavy chest. Yeah. Heavy Put chest. The arm in. There you go. Half, half. Around the neck. Around the oh, neck. Oh, he's done. Should be stuck. Should be Come stuck. Come on, Rob. There. Come on, Rob. Should He's be done. Stuck. There we go. There we go. Nice little comeback. Nice that's the way to keep fighting. I mean, that's yep. he was down 7 2 going into that period. And turns around, still down. Oh, well, he would have been tied there, I guess, before the pin. Really nice tough. comeback. He's a, he is a grinder. I know uh, both uh, Coach Kling and uh, you could, Coach you Bush would be a nice kid either. Yeah, yeah, just fun kid to be around. That was 182, double forfeit at 195. So the team score now is 30 to 18 for the Cavs. This should be a good matchup here. I'm curious to see this one. Yeah. Um, 220 pounds, Hunter Evans for the Cavs in orange. Is it Gomer? That is, I believe. No, uh, yes, Gomer. Gomer from, he's a junior from Pioneer. Yep. Good looking kid as well. Hunter Evans, I didn't get to watch him wrestle much this year. All right. He had uh, some concussion issues and then had a little uh, skin funk that he had to deal with, and now he's getting getting healthy at the right time. Yeah. He's to right sprawl. Now this should be a good match for him. We'll see him hit some offense here, do some setups, and don't be afraid to attack here. Sprawl. He's sprawl. Get that leg back. Really wizard. That wizard. Get that leg down. There you go. He's got it in there. Sprawl hard. Just head away. Sprawl hard. Stay on top. Hips, 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 hips. Sprawl. Nothing. Gomer Good, moving nicely too. That leg. He's Don't a drive through. Step Go up, to a double. Step up with that left. Step, step up, up with the left. Off. Step up, cut now off. Now turn the corner. Okay, they've square back up. Both guys fighting nicely here. A minute into the first. Okay. Some good scrambles there. Hunter doing a nice job with his collar tight, keeping his elbow down. This may be who wears out first. They're both wrestling pretty hard. Sprawl. He's a sprawl and spin. There you go. Now patient like, here. Uh, patient. Like maybe the pioneer kid gets uh, stopped Fired. first, and that's, that's let's go now. Let's take it to him. Ah. I like to see him keep him broke. Two down. to one. Thirty seconds left here in the first. Come on, Hunter. Let's be patient. Breathe deep. Heavy hands. Heavy hands. Really want to pull those ties to the ground. Hunter's got to be one of the strongest kids in the school. He's just good-looking kid too. He's a sprawl hard again, not give up the takedown. 15 seconds left. Don't have to force the score. He here. could be able to snap a leg up there if he can get to the uh, corner. He should be. He's in great position here. Gummer's got a nice hand. He's got the wrist control yeah. right there. Sprawl on the head. Lock. Sprawl on that front Under head. Underhook. Underhook. Time's running out here. First period. Yes. Over Second. two to one for the Cavalier, Hunter Evans. Green's choice, Holmes' choice. So we we'll choose down. So. Obviously, that's what you want for the. Uh, you want, we get that one point escape and see. I want to see Hunter escape, really explode here right on the whistle. Go, go. That's come up. Tripod up. Knee slide, slide out. Knee slide out. They're really, the, the really doing a good job hooking the, the near leg there. Don't reach back. Square up. All he's got to do is square fine. up. Gets to his feet. Gets the escape. Hunter's three to one. Too big and strong to do one of those three quarter. Snap down, snap, snap down, down, keep snap heavy down. on the head, frustrate him. Can really wear a kid's neck out by just being heavy with it. Yeah. He's pressing. Nope. Now he's working here to the side, keeping the pressure on, getting that inside control. That's what he wants right there. Nice underhook. Use it, use it. Head side, underhook side. Should be able to shoot a high crotch to that right side. Hunter's got to have a blast double that's just tough to defend. Yeah. Or a high single. And I guess his, his lack of experience, uh, mat time this year, is probably why he's a little wary on pulling the trigger. Slide here. by there. Yeah. 
stuff it. Good behind. He's a gear, grab two, the ankle, the near ankle. If he grabs the near ankle, he'll score. There we go. Now four, five That's to one. Flatten him out here. Cradle, cradle opportunity there. He's got work out, work his hips out there. Hip to hip. I gotta get locked up first. He doesn't want to go out front there with no. Yeah, move. underneath the arm now. The try to cross face. Try to bundle. Bundle. Try to bundle. Face lift maybe. No. Yeah, the opportunity there. Good. Working back. Thirty the seconds hips flat here. Pull that ankle flat. Him out. Chop the arm, bust the arm out. Sure don't get too high. I can't tell where his arm's at. Now he's underneath. Watch Fat Man catches him. Kind of baited yes, him into that. If he just half Nelsons, he'll pin him here. Get underneath. He's all over there. Just needs to wrap the arm around the back of the neck. There it is. Oh, there it is. But maybe he's get some back points under 10 seconds. Get some score here. Three Keep seconds. That elbow tightens. Yep. There you go. One. Nope. Another nine. Only a one count. That Five was, to that one. That was an unofficial one count. Yeah. Five to one. Looks like Gomer's a little, the oh, more yes. tired wrestler. Yeah. Coach Clay said they did a little Iron Man yesterday with Hunter to try and gas him out and get him ready for some yep. more than just one match for Saturday. So. Looks like that's paying off. He looks to be the better wrestler in better shape here. Yeah, his heavy hands. Just keep snapping it. Keep working that head. That is, that's tough. That wears a kid out. And you can, Get to the edge. There we go. Snap that down. Tie those arms up. There, there he go. goes. He's a bear. He's controlling right he it. Go. Right to his knees. There. <laughs> that is a uh, nice job. Yep. Just Wore him out and pinned him. Yep. That runs the team score to 36. Nice win for Hunter. To 18. That was a good match. Yeah, yeah. got got what, uh, four and a half minutes of uh, mat time? Yeah. And not not against uh, against good competition, yeah. too. Hunter's a good kid. Yeah. So now we run our heavyweight out here, Brent King, freshman. This will be our last match of the evening. Yeah, we do have Tested a couple of forfeits after forfeits, this. But Brent King's another freshman. Brent's, uh, I like Brent. He talked to him quite a bit in the hallways, and he's he's another kid that's lost a lot of weight just by being in a conditioning program and actually working out and right. doing those things. Really wants to get on the other wizard, wants the head on the other side. He's going to nice. stick with that headlock. Nice, got head the headlock. Wow. Wow. He Take down. It. Oh, 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 you get a tough two call. There. Nice headlock, Whoa. though. Defended okay. the leg, defended Brent the King. shot with the headlock. Feet up in the air and everything. Looks like he's got a little confidence. Yeah. Now, Ruck coming out here. And he's going to underhook there on this left side. Brent was known as the freight train in middle school. Had a Just nasty rolled people. Blast double. Ooh, nice duck under. Stay on top. Hips. Rub it down. Gave up the takedown, but he rolled to his belly. Carefully. Power half trying. Step up. Nice That's job. Nice Way work. Back up. He's defending a half. Yeah. Defending well. Step up the outside leg. Didn't do it in time, and Schnurple was able to roll him, and he gets the Good pin. Attempt, man. I'd like to see what, that, what what we do with that uh, headlock and bounds there. Yeah. You know, it might be a different outcome, but. Yeah, Gave nice match for Brent. Yep. Good, good experience. Gave him a run. Snurple's a junior, so. And now that should be 36 24. Cavalier Owen Falk wins by forfeit. Owen Falk gets the 40, makes it 42 24 with his forfeit. Cavalier Trayton Scripture wins by forfeit. And that would make it 48 to 24. So the Cavs double up Pioneer. Good in, matches tonight. Uh, again, you can catch uh, the Cavs in action this Saturday at Triton. We've got the Hoosier North Athletic Conference meet, and then uh, the following Saturday they will begin the sectional. They can't believe the season's over right. already. At, it's at Plymouth. Flown by. But, yep, that'll be at Plymouth as, as well for the uh, sectionals. So, as Chad Hallball, Mike Zander, appreciate uh, watching us, tuning in. Us, and go Cavs.